I'm about to blow up your spot. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. I'm back on your screen bringing you the love you need for Pinnacle Studio, so let's get into it. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 18 Ultimate, and it's about to get real crazy because I'm going to start blowing stuff up and showing you how to do it. Caveat to all of this is this. If you did not have Pinnacle Studio 17 Ultimate on your system when you installed Pinnacle Studio 18 Ultimate, then Red Giant No Light Factory will not be on Pinnacle Studio 18 Ultimate. And therefore, you will not be able to do that part of this effect, but you can do everything else. That's done. It's out of the way. You know you don't have it. If you don't, then let's move on, people. The two video clips that have the effect of the smoke and the explosion have alpha channels. Alpha channels allow you to make composites where you add an effect or an object on top of another layer of video and you can see just that object or that effect. Anything that is black is actually transparent and it's really cool to use this because you don't have to use the luma keyer or a chroma keyer or any of that. It just comes through crystal clear and beautiful. And those type of clips are the type of clips I'm using for this effect. You can find them and download them online. I paid for mine. I'm not giving you a link to it because if I do, I violate the license agreement that I have when I bought it. So don't ask me for the clip. I'm not going to give it to you. It's done. It's a wrap. All right. Find your own clips. Let's get to making this effect, people. First thing I want to do is add my background. So I have a photo here that I'm going to be using as a background and I want to adjust the duration of this. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. So to adjust the duration, I'm going to right click on it, go to adjust duration and I'm going to type in the duration that I want, hit enter and then click on OK. So now I want to add the explosions. Now those explosion and the smoke need to be added above the background. So here is the explosion of the fire. So that's what that looks like. Just to give you a sneak peek. I'm going to put that in a position. And here is the smoke. So I'll give you a look at that. There's the smoke. And I'll bring that into position. Now both of those clips are slow motion, so I want to speed them up. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the Fiery Heights clip and I'm going to right click on it. Go to Speed. And then I'm going to go to Add. So I'm going to click on Stretch. What that does is it allows me to adjust the duration of the clip and it does not trim it it actually just changes the speed of it i'm also going to select smooth motion it's going to make sure that any movement that's happening with this effect stays smooth and now i'm going to click on ok and then i'm going to change the duration of this clip as well because i want it to like I said, be fast. So since I already added the speed effect, I need to adjust the duration to do that. Just like I adjusted the duration on the other clip. And I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to do the same thing to the smoke. And I will make sure that the smoke is the same duration as the fire. All right, I got all of that done. So now I want to move these two clips to a position where I want the explosion to take place. So I'm going to move my playhead to a spot 
where I like. And I'm going to add a timeline marker by clicking on the marker icon. And so now I'm going to left click into the timeline, hold my left mouse down and highlight these two clips so I can move them both at the same time. So I'm going to left click with my mouse and drag them to the playhead or the timeline marker. And so now you can see what this looks like. Pretty good, but the smoke is over to the side. Uh, this is over. This is not exactly where I want it to be. So I need to make some adjustments to these two clips. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click on the fiery heights clip and go to open effects editor. And I want to move it where I want it to be. So I'm going to go to 2D, 3D. And 2D editor advanced. I'm going to make sure that it is set to no preset. I'm going to place my playhead somewhere where I can see the fire. And there it is. And I'm going to go to position. And I'm just going to move it over to the left here. So I'm going to do horizontal. And move it over some. And so now I want to add the red giant effect to it. This red giant knoll to add a little bit of um, more light to the fire itself. So I'm going to go to add-ons and I'm going to go to Red Giant Motion Graphics Toolkit. And then I'm going to go to No Light Factory. There are a lot of different presets. I'm going to click on the select preset drop down and I'm going to select sunset because it's already like the same color as the fire so I'm good to go with that. So I'm going to click on sunset and now I'm going to go to controls and I'm going to leave the brightness and the scale where they are for now but I want to move the light so it's to the middle of the screen so for the horizontal I'm going to change it to 50 and I actually want the light to be near the bottom of the screen so for the Vertical, I'm going to change it to 5. Because I want this light or this flare to emanate from where the explosion should begin, which is on the ground. All right. So now I'm going to move my playhead back to the beginning of the clip. And I'm going to enable keyframes by clicking on this little diamond here. Now, what the objective for me is to actually make sure that the flare is off of the screen until the fire shows up. Then I want the flare to show up real quick. It's really bright. And then I want the flare to fade away as the fire fades away. So I need to use keyframes to do that. So if you don't know how to use keyframes, there is a card up on the right hand corner of the screen right now that shows you how to use keyframes. So now for the heat cloud, all I'm going to do for this one is move it into the right position. So I'm going to right click on it, go to open effects editor, I'm going to go to 2D, 3D, and 2D editor advanced. 
I place my cursor somewhere where I should be able to see the smoke. I'm going to change this from default to no preset. And I'm going to change this from solo to show media and tracks below. So now I can see the smoke and it's not really at the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to go to position and change the vertical on here. And that's good. That's all I need for the smoke. So I'm going to click OK. And now on the background clip, I need to right click on this and go to Open Effects Editor. And I need to add the same Red Giant No effect that I had on the fire. So that it looks like it's on both layers. If you just put it on the fire, it just looks like it's just on the fire. I want the light to look like it's coming from everywhere. So I'm going to click Add-ons. Red Giant Motion Graphics Toolkit. And No Light Factory. And basically you just pick the positions where you want to now I want to before you how to add keyframes in what add on this. Now we want to add more to it to give it that brightness of a explosion happening. So I'm going to go to color. I'm going to go to brightness and contrast. And I'm going to move my playhead all the way to the beginning. And at this point, I'm going to bring all the values down to zero. Because at this point, I don't want to be adding any brightness to the scene at all. All right, so I'm going to click on keyframes to turn keyframes on. Now I'm going to click on OK. So now that it's done rendering, we'll give it a quick look. I like it a lot. All you got to do now is add your sound and your gravy. If you guys enjoyed this content, you know what to do. Hit me up with the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Of course, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you and I'll always get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can get more content like this on a regular basis. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.